Oh, got something very interesting here to back up the fact of the matter that Rome, Roman Catholicism is indeed the mother of Islam. See, the Islam is one of the harlot daughters of Mystery Babylon. And here's one such example of this, is you have Pope Francis, a Jesuit by the way, calling for Muslim Catholic, you know, unity. And even the Catechism states that, you know, Muslims and Catholics worship the same God, and he's absolutely right. They do. They are both indeed Baal worshippers. But this is on the CatholicNewsAgency.com. Pope Francis urges Muslim-Catholic collaboration for peace during visit to the Gulf Kingdom of ba ba Bahrain. I think that's how you say it. Peace, right? Isn't that so sweet? When both Islam and Roman Catholicism have been the most ruthless, bloodthirsty killers throughout history. I mean, Rome created Islam to persecute the saints. Think about that says here, Pope Francis met with Muslim leaders in the Gulf Kingdom of Bahrain on Friday with the message of that Catholics and Muslims alike are called to work to promote peace in the world. Speaking at the Grand Mosque on the grounds of Bahrain's Shakir Palace on November 4th, the Pope told the Muslim Council elders that he wanted to journey together in the spirit of Francis of Assisi. Uh, God is the source of peace. And, he, and may he enable us to be the channels of his peace everywhere. That just sounds so occultic and so, so much like witchcraft, which doesn't surprise me because Islam and Rome are both, you know, filled with witchcraft. The Pope added, the God of peace never brings about war. Oh, coming from the Pope. He never brings about war. Yeah, sure. Crusades, Inquisition, I mean, on and on it goes. Never incites hatred, never supports violence. We who believe in him are called to promote peace with the tools of peace, as such as encounter... Uh, patient negotiations and dialogue which is the oxygen of peaceful coexistence yeah you know i guess it's what he was meant i guess it's what his cult meant when they were burning believers at the stake for rejecting roman romanist heresies or what the muslims meant when they were committing holy jihad and beheading the uh, saints of god peace right yeah when again both islam and rome have been some of the most bloodthirsty killers throughout history uh, says in the article, the Muslim Council of, Council of Elders is an international group founded in the United Arab Emirates in 2014 to work to promote peace and principles of tolerance, address sources of conflict within Muslim communities, and bring the Islamic nation together, according to the website. The council's board members include Nigerian Sheikh Ibrahim Ibn Salih, I can't pronounce these Arabic names, just basically a bunch of Islamic, high, you know, prominent Islamic individuals. Pope Francis told the council, we who are descended from Abraham, see, see notice this, notice how he's basically just admitting they worship the same deity. We who are descended from Abraham, the father of the peoples and faith, cannot be concerned merely with those who are our own, but grow more and more united. We must speak to the entire human community, to all who dwell on this earth. That just sounds so ecumenical, but then again, he's right. They are both of the same, you know, the same spirit. They're both of the spirit of Antichrist. So he's right about that. And the article goes on, Before the meeting at the mosque, Pope Francis spoke privately with Sheikh Atman al-Tayeb, the leading Sunni cleric and the Grand Imam of Kario, or Al-Azhar in Kario. Again, just showing, you know, the Catholic-Romanist connections. Now you see, well, this is just a recent example, that, you know, they had the Crusades and everything else. Yeah, why was the Crusades, why were they started? It was in response. You see, what happened was, Islam is essentially like Frankenstein, okay? It's like Frankenstein's monster. I'll put it like that. Basically, that it was like a creation of Rome, but it, it turned on Rome. You know, they, so when they took Jerusalem, they called the Pope an infidel. So what happened? Well, the Pope launched the, the uh, Crusades to essentially contain this experiment gone wrong. Islam was started by Augustinian monks. You know, that's the truth of the matter. But when they say they owe of the same spirit and everything else, he's absolutely right, because they are both of the spirit of Antichrist. Same thing when he meets with the Hindus and, and everything else. Oh, you know, we're, we're, you know, more alike and everything else. They absolutely are because they are alike. They're all of their father, the devil. And Catholic Pope Francis is just simply showing the fact that Islam is a daughter of the harlot, the harlot of Rome, the beast of Revelation 17 and 18. So I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.